Now, in terms of translating that personal development that you've had and the, and and what's been nurtured toward you, you are known and renowned for your player development, and and not simply in just terms of skill sets, or but moreover gaining trust and building rapport with them on a personal level. So, what sense of fulfillment do you get from fostering these types of relationships with your players? Yeah, you know, it's not just about like refining their skill set, but it's about gaining trust and building rapport with players on a personal level and um uh just what you said and 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 i really forged some great relationships demar DeRozan is a guy that um i coached in toronto and he he's not only going to be a guy i coach but I, he's a, a lifelong friend you know we still talk uh to this day every few days and um it, he's he's just someone that um, i have a, a great respect for and we put a lot of time in together you know not just basketball but just talking about things and um, there's been a lot of talented players over the years uh, that I've worked with. James Harden, um, he was probably the guy that I was closest with uh, over the three years I coached him in Oklahoma City. And um, to me, the satisfaction comes like with a guy like James when uh, you can help grow a young person. Uh, you know, they come out of college and they're in a new city and they're in a new profession, and you're really helping them grow in so many different areas not just basketball because coaching is teaching right at the right. end of the day um, we're all teachers and I, I happen to be teaching uh, basketball is what I'm teaching and I'm also teaching life skills and what's coming ahead for them and what to be prepared for um, and especially in this profession when uh, so much can be demanded uh, from you as an athlete I think as a coach it's important for me to let these guys know um, what's coming and what sometimes you have to say no to. And that's the hardest thing for players uh, early in their careers, saying no, no to people, because everybody wants a piece of their time, their uh, whatever it is, you know, their assets, whatever it is. And you have to be able to say no. And I try to tell the players at an early age, like, you know, this is what's coming and be prepared for it. it what's really satisfying for me are guys that I've coached like Scott Brooks, uh, Kevin Ollie, Derek Fisher, these guys, I coached them and then they retired and went into coaching themselves. And now I'm working with some of them. So it p feels pretty cool to keep those relationships and, and friendships alive. I think one of the, one of the greatest things that, about you as a, as a player development coach is that I think you sort of, you sort of touched on it. The fact that it's more, it's, it's, it's more than just uh, developing a player's skill and ability but there's a lot of different things that a player must must learn and must adapt into their game and them as a human being before they become an elite player. So in your opinion, you've had the luxury of being able to coach some of the greats, like like a Harden, like a Westbrook, like a like a Kev Kevin Durant, a Kyle Lowry who's a champion now. And like in terms of those players, what did they have to learn uh, in order to become greats in uh, in in their sport? You know what? Um, this profession is about habits and consistency and from a very young age from a, in, in these guys careers when I get them that's what I try to preach to them if they have good habits and they remain consistent they have a chance to play in this league for 10 to 15 years um, the people that get into the league and have talent but they don't have great habits or they don't have great work ethic or consistency they fall off quickly. And I think a guy like James Harden, um, it wasn't, it, it was good that I was telling him, this is what you have to do. You have to have consistency. You have to have work ethic. You have to have great habits. That was all great. But what, he, what was even better than me telling him was that he was seeing it with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook right in front of him. And, and those guys had that. They were a few years older than him and they understood and they worked extremely hard. And those three players all pushed each other. And it was it's amazing to me when I still think about it, how quickly they all got so good. Um, and, and it just shows you that, you know, in anything you do in life, you have to form good habits. Um, and it's critical to your success. And then the last thing are the unseen hours that people put in, uh, you know, it's not just playing underneath the lights. It's doing all the little things that help you become, you know, a pro or a superstar um, where people are not actually seeing you. 